Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our seat covers into a 2018 up two-door Jeep Wrangler JL. Our seat covers have a super tight fit and finish and bring a whole new look to the interior of your Jeep. Our covers are available with five pre-selected color designs, or you can head to prpseats.com and design your own custom covers. Once you've done that, we're gonna start the installation. On the four-door models, you had the option of either pulling your seat completely out and installing the covers, or you could get away with leaving the seats installed and putting the covers on them in the vehicle. With the two-door, there's not nearly as much space to get in there and work, uh, so we are gonna recommend you pull the seats out every time you install them on the two doors. When you first get your covers, you may notice some crinkles, creases, kind of foldovers in all the material. So the first thing you wanna do is to lay your covers out in the sun for a couple hours. It's gonna allow the material to warm up, stretch out, and be a lot more flexible for when you're installing them. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna start with the rear bench, removing it from the rear of the vehicle, then we're going to take out both front seats, install the covers on all three seats, then put both front seats back, then put the rear bench back. To remove the rear bench, you're going to lift up this handle, push the bench down, push once more, let the bench go all the way up, and you're going to see this metal center bar in the back. You're going to pinch those bars, pull it together, it's going to release both clips on either side, then pull out the bench. Now that we have our bench laid out, we're going to open it up. We're going to remove both headrests. Simply just put your hand behind them, pull them off. And then we're going to start off by installing the bottom cover. You'll notice on the cover there are a couple slits cut out for the anchor points for any car seats. And then there's also the large slit right here that you're gonna feed both seat belts through. You're gonna take this back flap and push it through the center of the seat. Once you've pushed it through most of the way, go on the back and continue to pull it through and make sure all the material is tight. You're gonna find a felt strip on top of all of these Velcros. Pull that off, then take the Velcro, make sure the anchor points line up and place it down so it's tight. Then you're gonna do the same around the entire sides and fronts, pulling off that felt strip and attaching down the Velcro. Once you've got it on, Go back to the front, see how it's sitting. Make sure everything is kind of lined up with how it should be. Um, if there's any big wrinkles, weird creases, or say you have a lot of movement in it, just go into the bottom again and readjust it how you need to. Once you're happy with how the bottom cover looks, we're gonna start working on the top. The top cover, we're simply gonna slide over the top of the seat, bringing it down, and then it's connected by a zipper and a couple little Velcro strips on the bottom. Make sure when you're putting the cover over that you bring the headrest up and feed them through the slots. You're also going to have several small pull tabs. Make sure you just feed those through the appropriate slots. Once you've pulled all these different straps through and have the cover mostly set on here, you're gonna take this bottom flap and push it through the center of the seat. Then jump on the back and pull it through the rest of the way. Make sure you tuck in both sides underneath the plastic. Then you're gonna pull up the back flap Find the correct end of the zipper. And 
and zip the entire thing up. The seam line should be exactly where the seam line is on the back of the stock seat. Once you get to the end, you're gonna take the zipper end, tuck it back up underneath the seat, then put this Velcro strip down and attach the carpet material to the Velcro. After you've done that, go back on the front, make sure that the cover is sitting where it should be, everything's kind of lined up. If you have any small little wrinkles or things like that, try to tuck them in, work the material around as best you can. Um, if you still have some small little dimples or small creases like that, over time, as you use the seat more, sit in it, uh, those will start to flatten out and go away. Last few steps, you're gonna tuck this material around the plastic piece underneath it so it looks more flush and nice. In the box with your seat covers, you should also find a tucking tool, which is gonna make it a lot easier to do this. Last step, we're gonna put on the headrest. The back or rear headrests are a little bit smaller than the front ones, so just make sure you grab the correct one when you're installing. Pretty simple and easy. Make sure you're lined up the correct way. The rubber patch is gonna go at the back of the headrest, then just simply slide them over. Then, on the bottom, you're gonna have these two side Velcro straps. Attach those first. Put down the bottom layer, making sure that they're lined up fairly well to the holes. And then attach the top Velcro layer. Pretty simple and easy. Line up the holes to the spikes. And attach them back down. Now there are two different versions of seats for the two-door JLs. The Rubicon edition has a plastic Molly back on the back of both front seats. And the Sport, Sport S, and Moab editions have a pocket version with just a single vinyl pocket. Next up, we're gonna install the covers on the front seats. We're gonna start by removing both seats, taking off all four bolts, holding the seat bracket to the pan. Uh, you're then gonna unclip the wiring harness underneath the seat and pull the seats out. To remove the seats, use a T50 Torx to undo both front bolts and both rear bolts. Underneath the seat, you are going to disconnect the two wiring harnesses Then you're going to pull the seat out of the vehicle. You're going to start off on the seat by removing the headrest, depressing both buttons, and pulling it off. Then we're going to install the bottom cover first. Before you start working on the seat, make sure you have the correct cover for which side you're working on. On the driver's side, you're going to notice this cutout here for the roller knob, the adjustment knob. Uh, on the passenger side, there is gonna be no cutout because there is no adjustment knob. So, start out by placing the cover over the seat, making sure it's fitting pretty approximately where it should. You're gonna take this back flap and stuff it through the center of the seat. Then, you're gonna have two kind of triangle shaped flaps right here. You're gonna push those in between the back of the seat and the plastic sides. On 
On the back of the seat, you're gonna see this stock kind of carpet section right here. It's held on by two elastic bands. So just pull off each one of those bands from the white little clip it's holding on to and pull it up. As you can see right here, we have that back flap from our seat. So we're gonna pull that through and make sure it's snug and tight. On either side, you're gonna have to move this side piece underneath the release handle and around the roller adjuster. Easiest way to do it is start with the round roller adjuster, slide it around, then underneath until it fits snug. On this piece, kind of same thing. It works well if you pull the handle up, put the cover underneath it, and make sure it's sitting flat and flush here in the back. Once you have the top cover fitting nicely and where you want it, we're gonna start connecting everything on the bottom. First two things I like to do is there are two little clip tabs here on the top corner. Uh, if you look underneath the seat, there's this metal plate and there are two kind of openings. One on the outside here is raised. The other one on the inside part of the seat is just a flat little opening. Take those clips, pull them down and connect them to the metal base underneath the seat. Next up, there are two side elastic bands on either side with a Velcro strip on the end. We're gonna connect those together. One thing that's important to note, you are not gonna go over the top of the bracket like this. If you do, once you slide the seat, it's gonna interfere and rub. So when you connect this, make sure you go on top of the slider in between the seat and the slider. There are several small openings. You just gotta kind of find a good one, work your way through it. There's two. And then take these two elastic bands and connect the Velcro on them to each other. Once you've attached both side elastic bands, we're gonna do the three top ones or three front ones. Kind of the same thing, you're gonna run these down in between these bars and the seat, down to the bottom or back of the seat, and then you'll notice on that back flap that we push through the center of the seat, there are three Velcro strips that you're gonna attach the end of this to. Once you've done that, pull the seat back up and kind of work it around. If you still have some looseness, go on the bottom again, readjust them, move the material around how you need it so the cover is sitting tight and flush on the seat. You're gonna do this by popping it from the back, kind of opening up this handle and pulling it off. Now we're gonna slide our PRP top cover over the, over the seat. Just like the bottom portion, make sure you have the correct side. You'll notice the zipper, which should be on the inside shoulder, and the airbag portion right here, which has a soft mesh, which should be on the outside shoulder or facing the outside of the vehicle. Then we're gonna slide it over the top of the seat. Then we're gonna take this bottom flap and stuff it through the center of the seat. Go to the back of the seat and pull the rest of that flap through. Once you've got the cover mostly on, now we're gonna start going around, fixing it, pulling around the material, making sure the cover sits exactly where it should be and then all the material is tight. Up here in the headrest, you're gonna choose one corner Pull the material down under, underneath the plastic and then start to work your way around so that cover sits underneath nice and flush. You're gonna push it with your fingers or a tucking tool behind this plastic. Once the cover is on like 90% of the way so you're fairly happy with how it's sitting, we're gonna zip up this inside shoulder 
take this extra little piece of zipper down here and tuck it back up inside the cover. Next up, we're gonna connect the two Velcro ends. So go on the bottom of the seat, this existing kind of plastic little base cover, you're just gonna kind of tuck underneath. Then take this Velcro strip, pull it as tight as you can up, and then you're gonna connect both pieces on the back. Once you've done that and you've got it nice and even flush and you're happy with it, put that flat back over the top and let's put the seat back up and see if we need to adjust it anymore. So after we're done with that, this actually looks pretty good, pretty tight. Um, if you notice any wrinkles, any creases, things like that, go on the bottom, work the material around, try to readjust it and retighten it. On the outside arm, you'll notice we have this open flap. Uh, that's allow the airbag to deploy in case of an accident. Uh, you're gonna notice this little mesh strip next to the vinyl or whatever material you choose. You're gonna take that, tuck it underneath the, the other flap, kind of work it around and down. So you want that mesh strip to sit flat over the front of the seat. So it grips and holds in place. Next up, we're gonna reinstall this plastic piece. There's a small little clip here in the front and then one in the back. You're gonna to wanna to clip in that front one, kind of have the handle open and then clip in the rear one. Then last step, we have the headrests. Like I said before, the front seat headrests are gonna be a little bit bigger uh, and wider than the rear headrest. And then the rubber label here that says PRP is going to go on the back side of the headrest. So make sure it's all opened up, place it over the top and kind of depress the foam as you go and slide it over the top. Once you have it on, work the material around, make sure that the headrest is sitting level and fit. Then you're gonna take these two long Velcro straps, connect them from side to side in the center. Then you're gonna take these two little side pieces. They're gonna go on the outside of the rails, put the large center piece in the center there, and then pull the flap over. This usually takes a couple times. Just pull them off, readjust them how you need. Once you're all done with it, put it back on the seat. Once you've completed putting the covers on the seat, we're gonna reinstall the seat back into the vehicle. Make sure to reattach both wiring harnesses underneath the seat. Then use a T50 socket. Once you've finished with the driver's seat, we're gonna start working on the passenger seat. All the steps are pretty much gonna be exactly the same. The only difference being that the passenger side does not have an adjustment handle or a round roller knob here in the cover. Once you've successfully reinstalled both front seats, you can reinstall the rear bench. And that's it. If you have any questions, concerns, or issues, Feel free to email sales at prpseats.com.